What's up everyone, it's Zariel here for another episode of the Wrap Up Review Series here to review Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z uh, which came out January 28th, so this was like a few weeks ago uh, um, Just a disclaimer, let me throw this out there uh, I have been sick um, all day You know, I just woke up fucked up basically <laughs> Excuse my vulgarity uh, Yesterday, like my neck was stiff, today it literally will not move. I'm, I'm just fortunate enough that I, I had my headset and my laptop next to me so I can do something, you know. Um, I'm, I'm gonna put an ice on my neck, et cetera, et cetera. So, on, on top of that, like, I, I do have like a sore throat and I, I cannot hear out of my right ear. So, forgive me if I have like to pause and you know, so like drink me some water or something. But I'm just letting you know ahead of time. So, yeah. So. Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z is the first in a new series of Dragon Ball Z games that they are creating. And this game is really separating itself from other, you know, some like past Dragon Ball Z games in how they're making it. And it's a lot of things that I like about it, a lot of things that I don't, but I'm going to get to that, you know, like around the end of the video. But, um, yeah... Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z has four different modes. There's this there's the single player campaign. Um there's the online co op, which you can play online with your friends. And and then they have a mode called Battle Mode, which is basically, you know, selling just the online uh multiplayer, which ha also has uh um that also has several modes within it <clears throat> oh man I feel terrible <laughs> anyway um, the single player campaign is quite unique in, from past Dragon Ball Z games because it allows you to carry out you know missions it goes through the entire well it goes through most of the Dragon Ball Z storylines up until the Boo Saga uh, and it allows you to carry out these missions um, in uh, teams of four and that's the thing that makes this game so unique um, each fight you can put up to four characters sometimes you can even put like the same character up to four times on a on a uh, team like there's no type of character lock on that so you can have like four Gokus, four Krillins but um yeah the, the, the game is pretty much designed to be carried out in in a teams of four and that's the way they pretty much have it uh you know in, in the game uh again the game carries over carries over until the boo saga from the saiyan saga the freezer saga the android saga and the majin boo saga as well as three other ages which are basically the uh sp special episodes in Dragon Ball Z that featured characters that weren't featured, you know, uh, prominently throughout the Dragon Ball Z, uh, anime, as well as some Dragon Ball Z movies, etc., etc. Um, another thing that they did in this game that I don't really think they, well, I believe they did this in Budokai Tenkaichi 3, is that you can face off against the giant apes, and there's these big battles. For example, there's the, the, uh, the, uh, f uh, what is the fight against the great ape Vegeta? Uh, Gohan, uh, let me see what else, it was the Great Eight Vegeta, Gohan, they had the Meta Cooler, uh, big Getty Star form that he had, uh, um, in that movie, they have Garn, 
and that's pretty much it f you know what I'm saying like for like the giant fights uh however those characters cannot be used unlike in Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 they're only a like like you're only able to use them well like you're only able to fight against them in these missions another thing about this game that they did that's unique is that every character has their own type and what I mean by that is that there's four types of fighters in many cases with a lot of the characters they are dual types as I can say uh, there's fighting types, there's key blast types, there's support types, and there's interference types. Now the fighting types, these are like the close range combat guys, such as Goku and, let me see, I can't remember everybody on the roster, but I know that, you know, it sounds like Goku was like a melee type, you know, it sounds like he was like a fighting type, or a me melee type as they call him in the game. Um, and these are like the close range combat guys, they like to get in your face and it was another thing I forgot to mention. Each character in this game uh, has two unique moves that fit their fighting style. I mean, or that type of fighter that they are. And and uh, with the melee types in the game, they have moves that can, you know, dash them towards their target while hitting them at the same time and they basically just are made to be close range fighters um, then you have the key blast types which are the guys that like to fight from a distance they fire key blasts and they pretty much just shoot from a distance these are the guys that like to stand back and they like to attack from afar um, then you have the support types which are the healers and that also can uh, in some cases revive the downed allies um, also there's interference types which pretty much as the name implies they interfere these are the types that are the annoying ones they pretty much in in most cases they are the fastest types and they have moves that can either paralyze or drain the energy of their health while healing them so these are the four types in the game um, one thing I forgot to mention and I keep forgetting things please forgive me I'm still getting used to doing reviews I'm not perfect I don't want anybody to think that this is going to be like some awesome review. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, when you lose health, well basically like when your health is down to zero in this game, that character gets downed. And when that character gets down, you have a certain number of seconds you have that your teammates can, you know, dash over there to you and basically hit you in order to revive you and when this happens you know like you gain a little bit the, a little bit of your health back um, and your retry amounts which each character has but that's based on how strong the character is uh, you, you know so it won't get used up and uh, this is important because just like I mentioned the retry amounts in this game you know when your character is down and uh, that time runs out then a retry is used however again it's based on how strong the character is and one thing I like about this game that they did was when you know they made this game they wanted to they pretty much wanted to balance it out you know in some form or another and some characters have up to two retries that they grant the team and some 
characters have one, others have zero. And the strongest characters in this game do not grant retries. So once they knocked out, they're done for good. However, some of the weaker, quote-unquote, weaker characters from the series, they have the maximum amount of retries that they can grant the team, you know, which is like two each. So since there's four people that can be on the team, and let's say the maximum amount of retries you get is two, you know, the most amount of retries you can have is eight, you know. But, um, so you have to pretty much get a good mixture of types of fighters and a pretty much like a good mix of retries and you have to know what you're doing so that well that and you have to keep an eye on your teammates especially the ones that seem to get knocked out a lot so that you can quickly dash over there and you know say like uh revive them um that's basically it uh also in this in this game you know of course there's some characters that have weaknesses and things like that but there are character cards that can try to help you know so like make up for those weaknesses uh, th these character cards can do a number of things they can increase the health they can increase the key blast attack power they can increase your energy uh, recovery um as well as like a number of other things for example like they can grant you um or, or like as your health is reduced your defense increases or you know so when you're fighting in the air you know your uh abilities are increased me my throat is killing me um or you know so when you're fighting on the ground the same thing can happen or you can have some type of auto block or or like you can gather energy you know so like just by flying around you know so like there's like a number of things of course there's senzu beans or anything like that so that when you get knocked down you instantly get revived and you know so like you don't have to worry about using a retry or whatever the case may be uh uh yeah like another thing is each type of fighter has different ways of gathering energy for that uh fighter for example uh the melee types they gather energy just by doing you know saying like hand to hand combat with the key blast types they gather energy just by firing regular energy blasts you know saying like that's how they gather energy with the support types they gather energy by just being the support that they need and the interfere types they gather energy by draining it from the uh, opponents so different characters have different ways to play them and another thing that I really liked about this game is that they made sure that every character form was their own character. In previous Dragon Ball video games, they always announced that the game had, you know, this many characters. However, they allowed the original forms to transform in to these different forms, which kind of confused me and I know a lot of other people, and I know I'm not by myself. If you, you know, when you look at games, that announced that they have several characters each character is their own individual you know or like holds their own individual character slot and they are their own individual character and in those previous Dragon Ball Z games they allowed you to transform you know into these other forms from the original form but the confusing thing about that is when you announce that a game has this many characters right at least give them their own character slot and make them their own individual character. And what I mean by that is don't allow them to be transformed into or anything like that because if you're going to announce that this is its own individual character then let them be that. You know and in this game you know um, like along with the retry system that they 
having there with each character being their own type of fighter uh it makes sense the way that they did it and i'm glad that they did because you have you know super saiyan goku you have super saiyan 2 goku you have super saiyan 3 goku and you have his original form um and you know the original form of goku can't transform into the other forms because they're their own character and to me that makes sense if you're going to announce that they have this many characters in the game you know then let those other forms be their own individual character and with everything that went on that went into this game i'm glad they did that so that's good um the the online co-op mode is uh pretty helpful in itself um because it allows you to play because well unlike single player where you have computer controlled you know uh help uh in online co-op all of the characters well all, well everyone you know basically you can team up with other you know human players and you can tackle on these missions but the only downside to it from all accounts and, and from everything that I've read there's no way to unlock anything in online co-op you know in single player mode in order for you to you know saying like unlock different characters and things like that you have to get at least an A ranking in some of them but for the most part it's either S ranking or above that and you know for the fact that you don't that, that you aren't able to unlock anything well at least from my experience I never had to worry about that because I unlocked everything in single player as as much of a pain in the ass some of those missions was I did unlock them <laughs> um, you know like the characters and the other character cards and um you know to tackle all these missions and for you to not get anything from that you know I think this that, that makes like the online co-op pretty pointless it, it really does because you're not getting anything from this other than just playing with teammates and I'm pretty sure you know a lot of the, like I said it, it's some missions in the single player mode that are just ridiculous because the computer controls the other three characters that are on your team for a lot of these missions and I know I speak for everybody that's played the single player mode in Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z the AI is a fucking dumbass put it to you like this if there is an award for the dumbest AI in the video game this game absolutely positively has to be a nomination at the very least you know it has to be a nominate uh, like it, it has to be nominated at the least you know and, and a lot of these fights it seems like that the computer doesn't help as much as they should you know and it was a fail on the developers part because they really didn't program this AI to be as responsive as they or as I believe they wanted it to be like because you can tell during the fights that they kind of programmed them to be like that but then they just fall off uh, for example w when you get down right and you know all your health is going and you have these or like you pretty much have this timer going sometimes the AI will revive you other times it won't sometimes they come over there and they try to revive you but but it doesn't happen and instead of it registering in the AI that okay I swung and the hit didn't connect so you know like just let me try it again they'll fly off elsewhere you know and not even worry about it so you pretty much end up running out of retries at times when you really shouldn't have to even worry about using them and for some of these fights you need some of the strongest characters in the game that don't grant retries so for most of the time your retry uh... you know saying like limit will be at a very low number which is pretty much like three or two you know it's not good to have an AI in this game that does not respond the way you need it to, especially when you're so heavily, you know, or, or like when you winning the game is pretty much dependent not only on how you play, but how they play. And 
again this goes right back to the online co-op the fact that you're not unlocking anything possibly besides some other character cards and you know you get to gain experience in order to rank up like there's nothing else to it like there's really no benefit to online co-op other than just playing with other people you know and that sucks it it, it does make the online co-op kind of pointless because there's no point in, in playing it if there's nothing to unlock right it just doesn't make any sense to me now th then we get to the battle mode now the battle mode they have several different modes you have normal mode you have score mode you have dragon ball search mode and then there's a uh, battle royale with normal mode this is the mode which pretty much follows the same retry motif as the uh, single player and when your team runs out of retries then you know or like pretty much like the first team that runs out of, that runs out of retries loses that's what it's based on uh, with score mode you gain points for knocking out the other teams you know saying like players and if they are knocked out and uh, you know saying like for a, a certain number of seconds and the computer has to revive them then uh, then your team uh, uh, score some points and basically like the one with, with the most points wins at the end of the match now these matches can go on for, for as long as like five minutes to ten minutes long you know but it's pretty pretty fun I guess you can say for the most part it, it's pretty fun um, and then there's like Dragon Ball search mode which I could not find any rooms and the one or two rooms I did find they were like on red status or like the bars just didn't show up at all you know like the connection quality was just bad and terrible and the matches weren't even worth playing and besides this is online co-op who the hell wants to play like a Dragon Ball search mode like who wants to play like a search and find type of mode you know what I mean like who want, who the hell wants to play that literally and you can watch my videos it, like you know uh, it pretty much just speaks for itself because nobody was making rooms probably like one or two people but that's nothing you know nobody was playing it <laughs> nobody cared to play it you know people want to fight in the Dragon Ball Z game they don't want to go off and play a Dragon Ball Z uh, game that has no modes or anything in it you know what I mean it doesn't make any sense you know and uh then you have the battle royal mode which is basically every man for himself and this this can be up to eight people oh and another thing in the Dragon Ball Z <laughs> uh, the uh, Dragon Ball search mode in battle mode you need eight players in order to play it and some people couldn't even get it you know eight players to join so it was a mandatory eight player you know what I'm saying uh, um, or, or like that mode was, was was like a mandatory eight players. You had to get eight people to to uh, join in order for you to play it. And since nobody was joining the rooms, or, or like the one or two rooms that were there, nobody was able to play it. So I doubt anybody has experienced Dragon Ball mode. You know, but that's whatever. Uh, but yeah, in Battle Royal mode, it's it, it's pretty much every man for himself and these battles can get really really crazy you have people jumping other people you have people you know getting ridiculous and you know teaming up and you know er bodies flying everywhere like it's pretty nuts and I would say out of the four modes the one that's the most fun to me personally I would say is search mode I mean not not <laughs> yeah right search mode nah um, I would probably say is either normal mode or score mode pretty much but they're pretty much all fun and you know like in their own way with the exception of Dragon Ball mode because I didn't play it because like it wasn't any rooms available but um yeah it was pretty ridiculous uh overall 
overall what I think about the game again the AI is pretty much idiotic it's a pain in the ass and you pretty much have to luck out for a lot of the tougher missions in the game for example uh, in my match with Kid Boo you know it's pretty much just four on one and you would think that we would have the advantage you know what I'm saying I mean or the you know, so you would think that you would have the advantage being a player and that you have like four people on the team, you know, saying like on your team. But again, the computer AI is so stupid and the enemy or like the, the computer enemies in the game, they can do things that the players can't do. So that's another fucking flaw that they made. You know, how are you going to give the computer the ability to teleport from one end of the, of the screen all the way to the other end? You know, saying like hiding behind walls and many other things in this game that that just that, that really are a headache. They're really a fucking headache, and when you get knocked out, it, it's like you could have one of your teams, you know, you know, saying like doing the fighting, and you you have the other two just not doing anything at all while you're sitting there down, and one of them can come over here and revive you and the computer won't do it you know and, and it's a pain in the ass and you end up losing a lot of times for that and i had to play that kid boo mission several times over one thing i can say though that they did is that they pretty much allow you to continue on with you know the missions that come after missions that you can't beat what what they do is that you know saying like they just give you an and What they do is they just give you an E ranking and they allow you to continue on, you know, similar with the missions that come after that one. So that was a pretty good gesture for, for them, you know, because they knew that a lot of these missions were probably going to be a bitch to finish. And you know they allow you to continue so if you can't beat mission let's say you know something like mission you know something like 49 you can then you can continue on to mission 50 however certain missions will not unlock unless you gain a certain ranking in others so you're pretty much going to have to go back and get a higher ranking uh in these other missions not just not just to unlock the characters but um also like you're pretty much going to need those characters in order to beat other missions i'm just being honest with you so overall this game is a dick <laughs> this game is a, a straight up dick for me they messed up so much with this one you can't rely on the ai in this game for a lot of the missions two the online co-op is completely pointless three the the uh, online battle mode, the Dragon Ball search mode, is flawed for the fact that you need a mandatory eight players. I tried to change the number of players. The game wouldn't allow me to. I went in there, made a room. I couldn't change the number of players. You know, so that's ridiculous. So, Dragon Ball search mode and battle mode is it's pretty much unplayable. Um, and it was a dumb idea, in my opinion. Uh another thing is that they don't implement the Dragon Balls anywhere in the single player mode I guess they didn't want to focus on it too much or whatever the case may be but I don't know like I I think having a but I don't know Th that one's kind of up in the air for me because I don't know like what would you wish for you know what I mean or, or like what would be the point in wishing for anything I don't know but yeah like th they really didn't tie the Dragon Balls into the uh storyline at all or uh, like they didn't I don't know it, like it, it was pretty much like the Dragon Balls were just non-existent in this game which is funny to me but um other than that one thing I liked about the game is that they gave each form its own character slot they didn't allow you to transform into other forms uh, which is good in my opinion because it gives their own form their own individual you know so like play style and things like that 
and if you're going to announce that the game has this many characters allow those other forms to be their own characters are, are, as, as I've already mentioned so for me this game is right down the middle like, like it's worth the rent it is not worth a buy uh, matter of fact just to let you know I went back to GameStop and I pretty much traded this game in as soon as possible <laughs> hence the reason why I'm not using my um, television backdrop of the game I don't have the disc anymore. It's just not worth holding on to. But that's the thing with the new, or, or like the first game in the new series of Dragon Ball Z games. You know, so when you look at Budokai 1, when you look at Budokai Tenkaichi 1, uh, I didn't play the full burst games, but I'm pretty sure it, it was pretty much like the same thing. Uh, and as well as this one, they all sucked. You know, in the, in the first Budokai game, they pretty much gave you know what I'm saying, like Goku, the the most overpowered being, you know, like his Kamehameha, his, uh, you know what I'm saying, like uh, Kamehameha beat every, other, beat every other character's, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, you know, something like being uh, <laughs> in Budokai Tenkaichi, I, I can't remember that game, but I know it was some pretty overpowered necessary I mean, some some unnecessary, you know, some like uh, overpoweredness going on in that game. What else? Um, and in this game right here, it like the idea of what they wanted to do was was good, but they executed it badly to me. So again, it's worth the rent. It's not worth the buy. Don't waste your money buying this game save your money wait till part two comes out because they missed a lot of things uh like they missed several movies for the single player mode uh like they well they didn't miss them per se but they pr purposely left them out because obviously they're waiting till part two in order to add all that stuff in there's no dlc coming out for this game so there's no real uh or like there's no post game dlc i should say coming out for this game and the DLC they did have have for it uh, was like Sage Mode Goku. Um, uh, they had Super Saiyan Bardock if you got it from GameStop, and then there's uh, Super Vegito if you pre-ordered the game from Best Buy. And those are some stupid DLCs because those should already be in the game, in my opinion. But since it's the first in a new series, I guess that that's all right, I guess. But Sage Mode Goku, I've seen videos of it. He's completely pointless because he's basically just a cosmetic change of Super Saiyan Goku. So that was a dumb, you know, bonus right there. But overall, again, this game to me, it's worth a rent, not a buy. And that's basically my verdict. So many people will enjoy it. You know, they miss a lot of things in the storyline you know something like little niche things that they should have had uh that i know the dragon ball elitists are going to get mad at but yeah like the game overall is it's really not worth keeping so that's it man so i hope this video was informative i hope it was helpful you know forgive me for being sick or whatever the case was but shit happens so yeah Thanks for watching. Peace. I'll talk to you guys next time.